Hi, this is Tamara again. I'm in the car, as you can see. But let's just go into prayer before I, I um, do this. Heavenly Father, God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to come before you today to bless your name, to worship and exalt you. For you are God, and you are King of kings and Lord of lords. Just thank you and honor you this hour. Thank you for allowing us to be delivered from all anxieties and pain and sufferings and let us to be true before the King, that one day we will meet our Savior and we will celebrate all together as one large family. Thank you, God, for allowing us to see and to hear um, untruths and ugliness and all kinds of spiritual things that, that you want us to see and hear and know. Um, I love you, Lord God, and your people love you. And we're standing strong to keep praising and worshiping you. But we're using wisdom to bless your name for you are glorious and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I'm out here in the car. I am not driving. My son is. And I have a special guest in the back. So today um, was a long day for me. I had to take many buses to get around. As you can tell, my car is... Um, had died on me the day after my surgery and so it was okay for me because I was not able to use it anyway I was trying to um, allow my um, my body to heal but enough about me um, as I was walking downtown um, there was this couple they, they were like uh, from a different religion and the Lord had allowed me to stop and to talk to them because normally I go and try to catch my bus since my walk has changed I don't walk as fast as I had in the past I now have like a drop walk so it slows me down because I'm trying to get that left leg to follow the right leg and to move with the rhythm so it would be easier for me to take a long stride or a short stride as long as I get to where I have to go well okay so I started my time there and as I was talking to the couple, they was talking about how, you know, they've been married for 30 years and how they're out here in the street and they're giving away um, pamphlets to their um, religion. And I, 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 I had to stop because it was like the Lord was leading me. I had time to catch my bus. So as I was talking to them and I was trying to tell them about the love of God, in a, um, in a way to where they may have never heard of it. And sometimes they think that the age of a person um, can make or break you because they seem like they were much older than I was, am, that was, is, am. Um, they're more, much older than I am. They had so much manners, they're so polite, they had, they had wisdom for their religion. And I had, I had wisdom for my, um, my, my connection with the Lord, my intimate connection with the Lord. As I was doing most of the talking, I realized that when they were speaking, they didn't have what I have. See, I'm born again and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. And uh, God died for the whole world, right? We all know that. When I tried to explain to the people, the couple, the married couple, that it's good that they have, the, they, they know the name of Jesus and that they can speak about the name of Jesus. But of course, you're always going to ask a question, do you intimately know him? It's good to just pass out pamphlets because you want people to get an idea of who Christ is. But if the teachers themselves don't know who God is on an inner, deeper, spiritual level, then they are lost. So I explained that to them. I said, you know, it's a good thing that you, are, you want to be a disciple for Christ. But if you really want to know him intimately, you have to seek the Lord for yourself. You have to get to know him. So I said to him, to the both of them actually, if you two are sleeping in your bed and you're just lying there and you just wake up and you you can you can cross everything off your list what you have done on a Thursday morning 
But if you realize that while you're tossing and tossing and turning, and there is something missing in the inside of you, then that means that you have to do some soul searching. You have to get yourself uh, before the Lord and stay there until you find out why Christ truly died on the cross. If you can stop what you're doing, don't look at, I need to hand out this pamphlet, because this pamphlet is only going to lead the person who takes it astray and is going to keep you a bay. Demons will keep you a bay because you haven't sought the Lord on an intimate level. Get into the Word of God. Seek the Word of God. Realize that the Lord of, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings hasn't changed. His message never changed from the day that he set stood, he, the day he created this earth and to the day that he's going to allow this earth to pass away. God wants us to fellowship with one another. But what he was considered fellowshipping was he wanted me to give him, um, to answer his question. It was like a riddle, I believe. So he says, if you can find people to come to me and speak to me about the word of God on a collective basis, then I can most, I may turn to the Lord. Now, I don't find it funny and I don't find it, I didn't find him interesting. I said to him, you're wasting a lot of hours trying to get a group of people to come out and witness just to you. Now, if I can witness to you, then you need to receive the salvation of the Lord right now. Don't look for a group of people. But he was saying, I need a group of people in order for me to find out if your religion is true. So I said, okay, it's you, your wife, and myself. Now we're considered a group. I can stand on my own and I can talk to you and fellowship with you right now. So I told him that you, if you really want to know more of God, dig deeper. I said to him, you're on a surface. You are... When you're passing out this tracks, you're just basically touching the surface of a person. But you got to remember that the body is connected to three parts. You have the you have the uh, you have the you have the the, the 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 skin, the flesh, right? You also have your soul, and you also have the spirit. So he's telling me that his flesh is feeling fine. I said, well, the flesh right there is always going to connect to sin. So if you're a sinner and you're and you haven't realized that you're a sinner, you're going to say you're fine. All sinners, if they haven't repented on the day that God calls them home, is never going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. So I told him and his wife, she was more quiet. She listened. I said to him, I said, it's strange how you too have been doing this for years and have you not seen a change in yourself as a group so they said well we're fine we've been doing this for so long I said history doesn't matter when it comes to your salvation if you can't answer me with joy and with peace and a sound mind then you're still lost so I said to them, if you get yourself together, two of you, go into your living room, your bedroom, your bathroom, wherever you are, hold hands and just pray and fast and seek God as a whole. And the more you seek the Lord together, collectively, as a group, that's what he commanded, that's what this man wanted, you will seek the Lord and stay there until you realize that there is more to God than just handing out pamphlets and trying to get other people saved. Now, he also said to me, oh, but you're coming to me and my wife and you're talking to me and my wife about the Lord. He says, sis, you don't need to come to me and talk to me about the Lord. He says, you need to go to the other people who aren't saved. I said, no, sir. 
I have to come to you because one thing is that you are going off of works. The Bible doesn't tell us to go off of works. The Lord tells us to go out and preach and, and teach and to, to, and to tell people about the message, the true message of the Lord. And when you get to give in the true message of the Lord, you will have an instant change because the Lord himself is greater than me. And he's greater than you. He's greater than your pamphlets. He's greater than your time. Your time that you have wasted can be undone when you realize that you wasted time by giving out pamphlets and you was going in a different direction. You cannot reverse time, but you can surely come close to making it up. Because if you're used to witnessing from the Lord, and that means you're an evangelist, and that means you need to go out there, and if that means 24 hours a day with non-sleep, because you uh, non-sleep, because you realize that you wasted too many years doing something that is against the Lord. Now, I said, what good is it going to do for you if the Lord just gave you a pat on the back by saying, okay, I can see that you want to witness for me. But I said, wouldn't it be better if you received a crown on your head rather than a pat on your back? So if you give yourself more so to the Lord, he will reward you with a greater, uh, with a greater, um, what, do you, what words we're going to use, um, with a greater peace, with a greater acknowledgement, um, with a greater, um, um, let me just say, um, huh? understanding. a greater understanding. So he was saying, well, you know, if you can, he says, I've never found anybody who can stand toe to toe to me because I've been doing this. I said, you don't need recommendations. You don't need anybody to, to come and praise you. You don't need any, you don't even need a large crowd. So then he takes me into the Bible where he was talking about how um, the, the Ethiopian was uh, walking alone and how he didn't understand the scripture and, and Philip um, gave him the understanding and he baptized him. So I said, okay, so where are you going with this? He says, well, that's where the churches basically started with the Ethiopian. I said, and he goes, if you just give yourself more, he said, he said that the Lord thy God will want us to go out and to do commission, to commit ourselves unto his works. And I said, there you go, it works again. The Lord thy God taught us first before he sent his disciples out. I said, if you don't have no understanding of what you're teaching or what you're, what you're talking of, of what you have in your hand, which is his pamphlet. Then you, sir, and your wife is, is lost. You have to get deeply rooted and grounded in the word of God. So you will have your, your, your blessings by, the God, by God. I said, because the Holy Spirit will give you truth, and wisdom, and understanding. The Holy Spirit will know how to send you uh, to different places. He will tell you where to go, when to go, and what to preach, and what type of pamphlets to, to give out. So if you're promoting your pamphlet and nothing is working, that means you have a misunderstanding of what your religion is about. I mean, we went on and on and on. So I said to him, just like there's three parts of the body, there is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He stops me there and he says, well, there's no scripture of the Holy Spirit. So, you know, I could have brought him into this, in, into the scriptures, but sometimes you have to use wisdom. So I said to him, if you have done all that you've done, all that you could do for on a Thursday and you checked off your list and everything was done. But when you're waking up in the middle of the night and you can't sleep and you're tossing and turning. You just fed the flesh. Your soul is looking for, your soul is here as a, as a, it's, it's very emotional. But the spirit is yearning for God. That spirit man is yearning for, to go past the heavens, to go, to go past the earth, to go past the heavens, to go past the stratosphere, atmosphere, and 
and you know all the all the spheres okay you it wants to reach God if you don't have God inside of you why are you preaching a false doctrine and telling people you know Jesus so I said to him you know the name of Jesus but you don't know Jesus himself I said so the Lord probably won't even pat you on the back you're going to stand where you are for the rest of your life and you're going to miss the whole commission of the gospel so I uh, his wife was listening more intently she was like you can see her body language you can tell that she really wanted to know more because see his goal was every time I go this is what he was saying to me every time I hear other religions come to me I can tell you now that there is no one that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with me they will say oh I have a phone number call this man and he will break it down so he says well I haven't found anybody I said sir you want to debate Christianity you want to debate and you want to be recognized it's not about recognition I said you want deliverance stop here stop here stop here stop with the shenanigans stop with all the paparazzis stop with all the the gimmicks and the lights and the cameras sir 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 you're going in the wrong direction bottom line stop giving out too much of your time your wasted years give yourself to Christ right now stop yearning for fame and fortune it's not getting you anywhere so seek the Lord thy God while you have time seek the Lord thy God while he is here and stop yearning for um, a, a proud heart because pride will only come to a downfall so he didn't want my number he didn't want my my name he didn't even want a prayer for me but I was telling him about my testimonies and that's when his wife kind of like put meters in the in the uh, coins in the meter more like oh we got an appointment somewhere I said it's, uh, it's how funny how I'm getting ready to tell you that I seen Jesus myself I seen the Lord myself and now all of a sudden they want to walk away if you know Jesus then why would you not want to hear about what he's done for me why wouldn't you want to hear my testimony about the same God that you claim you're, 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 um, that you know because if anybody knows Jesus and you don't want to hear that testimony, you may not have time all the time. You know, you, you know, you say, sir, miss, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't have time right now. Because sometimes you are in a hurry. And sometimes it's not meant for you to hear at that very moment. But you still should be able to hear the gospel and you should be willing to say, my God, your experience was not mine. Now that's when we in, collectively in a group will want to share the gospel. Yes, Philip did preach to the Ethiopian. And Philip did spend time. See? Word time. The correct way. Okay, so now I'm just going to let you know how things went today. So my daughter and I met up at the DMV. And um, she was all excited. We prayed before we got in there. And we did what, you know, before she took her test. Now, I didn't know the instructor, the one who was going to test her that day which is today Thursday today when he walked out of that room I felt this tall puffy demon inside of that man and I kind of like a bat you know I, have to, I was taken aback but not to where it was like whoa it was more like yo like be on guard and and then the people around my daughter and me were saying Oh my God, um, saying, oh my God, um, this man right here, he will not pass anyone. He has his name on this, on this plat, on this wall in a different DMV saying, whoever takes this man is going to fail. And the people all oh, was like, she's going to fail. She's going to fail. She's going to fail because he, she has him. And I was like, wow, what is why did she have to have him it was just the worst time 
So now I'm going to pass the phone to my daughter and she's going to give you her opinion and her thoughts and what happened. Tell them your name so they know. Hi guys, welcome back. Jalisa. Um, yeah, so I took my driving test today. Um, I failed it because um, you can hear me. They can hear me right now. All the folks that can't hear me, I can talk, hear myself talk. Um, when I was in the car with him, I felt like a numbness. I felt like it was like no one there. So um, I cried a little bit after, but the Lord told me all day to be careful. My eyes are puffy because I never cried that hard. I haven't cried like that in like almost four years, like my math test. But then, you know, you can always do better. But like the odds, like he was just making tripping me up he was just over the littlest things the major thing he said something about he grabbed the wheel i didn't i had full control of the wheel he lied on me and said oh i had to grab your wheel and that's an automatic fail I, and also going to the dv i started on 35 going back he's like why are you doing 45 i said i'm not doing 45 because i'm looking at my meter i'm doing I'm doing 35, that's when we start. He said, how did you know? I said, because when we, f and there's nothing posted, there's no speed limit posted. And and he tried to trip me up with that thing. I didn't know what I was talking about. Like, why are you trying to quiz people through the book when we have to concentrate? You know, a couple things. I know I need help with um, parking, but it's just the road itself because he was just tripping me up. And also, I was counting one, two, three. He said, don't do that because that's tripping me up. I'm looking at him like, you're, you're, you're trained. You've been, this is my first time in a row. Don't say it's going to trip you up. He's trying to trick me up and be condescending. So with that said, God said all day, be careful. So I'm going to take the trust again. And then also the good thing about it, he, my driver, my, my field driving school instructor was like, he said, um, he said he had problems with him before another student who made him cry so he went to his boss and and um so he got written up about it so their new instructor for the dmd i went to if he fails you you will not get him again so i'm gonna we're gonna pray for him because he could be a lost soul and, and also um people saw yes i was crooked grown with um parallel on two lanes but that's my that was honest mistake but i know how to drive i know how to park i know how to do all these things but god be the glory but something was off about that day everything was going well satan thought he could have me but he's not going to take my joy away with that said i'm going to do better next time and we got to pray before we get in because some people are just like i was I wrote, i'm going to post a video on my channel julissa hall but so the Lord said that some people have a black heart, and that's so sad. But we're going to pay for his heart because I still believe in the soul. But some people are just not meant to be kind in this world. And they just want to fail people. But the Lord said to me, I'll always pass because I have to get this next step in my journey. So you guys, I love you, and here you go. Thank you for listening to us. I don't want you to think because my daughter didn't make her... Um, she didn't pass the driving test that this is the reason why we're putting out the video um so you need to hear that it's if my daughter would have passed the test i still would have talked about uh, what i experienced today and my testimony today it still would have been posted because i still had to take the same path at the same time um for those of you who pass on your on your driver's test on the first go Praise God. Those who, who didn't pass it on the first go but took it again, praise God. But what we're, we're saying is the message. The message is, you know, just know who you are talking to. You know, everybody is not going to be kind. Everybody's not going to have um, a testimony like ours. It's more of the commission. Uh, we all have to um, gather our thoughts and to keep praising the Lord no matter what we experience. I just didn't want you to think that uh, I'm posting this because my daughter didn't um, pass. She's going to take it again. And we'll post it. We'll post. Um, we'll put it on YouTube. We will. Um, um, she'll put it on her show. And I'll do mine. And, and that'll be that. So if you have any like um, testimonies, you know, comment below. We can discuss it further. And she's saying, God bless you. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys have a very blessed day. And be strengthened. And be blessed. God bless you too. And make sure you like and subscribe to her channel, Jaleesa Hall. And I'm Tamara Coleman. She's my daughter. And um, comment on both pages. God bless.